If he's a stand-up comic, but he cannot speak, Lee Ridley has cerebral palsy and uses a voice synthesizer to communicate. Last year, his friends encouraged him to take up comedy. Two months ago, he did his first show, calling himself Lost Voice Guy. He's already headlining nights in his hometown of Newcastle, and word is spreading. Our entertainment correspondent, Colin Patterson, went to meet him. Please let me headline the fantastic Lost Voice Guy, Lee! Stand-up comedy as you've never heard it before. Lee Ridley has no voice, but that's not stopped him becoming something of a sensation on the Newcastle stand-up circuit. In case you were still in any doubt, I really am disabled. It's definitely not just really good acting. And I'm not just in it for the parking space. When I realised I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. He performed his first gig as Lost Voice Guy in February using a voice synthesizer and is already topping bills at Newcastle's Bar Loco. I started off in a disabled steps tribute band. We were called Vamps. <laughs> I was very ill when I was a baby. As a result, I developed cerebral palsy, which in my case meant I lost my speech and walk funny. So obviously I was never going to make this year's Olympics. I hate that we have so many politically correct words to describe disabled people. Now it's all special needs, special schools, special Olympics. That is why it always alarms me when I hear about special forces going to war. <laughs> enjoyed making people laugh and being a stand-up was my dream job I suppose I just thought that's all it was though a dream eventually I decided to give it a go because I knew I'd regret it if I didn't I think it was better to embrace my disability both the good and bad parts and let people see what it's like so how does it work how many jokes have you got stored in there you just type in what you want to say then save it then press each saved phrase when you want it to say it. The voice is a bit posh for me, but I think that makes it funnier. I'm still getting used to when to pause and allow laughter. It's trial and error, really. Plus, every audience is different anyway. This one certainly seemed to be won over. He was probably the funniest comedian tonight, to be honest. Like, like, uh, like, I was rolling my laughter. Totally on the ball with, like, comedy right now. The things that he's saying, he knows. He knows what people find funny. Lost Voice Guy has now been booked for his first London show, and big things are being predicted for him. He is, like, one of the best I've ever, ever seen. He's just comes, it comes natural to him. And he's bringing, like, a, you know, instead of disability, an ability instead. So he's just magic. Yes, Lost Voice Guy is becoming something to shout about. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye. Colin Patterson, BBC News, Newcastle. Yes, and if you want to see uh, Lee perform, it's Lee Ridley, the Lost Voice Guy. He is currently playing at venues all around the UK, so look out for it.